So yes, I will call the plebs, because he's fucking stupid. Like you are a fucking spaz who's chopped their penis off. BONSAYA! Horrible pleb. Enjoy! Can you guess where your favourite cheapskate is sat today? So, there's actually been a bit of a Weatherspoon's revolution. I've been sneaking these in. I didn't even tell you because I thought the haters would contact Weatherspoon. And after the experiences I've had with them, I just don't know what levels I go to of even trying to ruin my Weatherspoon's experience. So I'll be sneaking copies into these flasks. I and mean, I just thought I'd ask them today, like, you know, are you allowed to get up a flask? And we're like, yeah. £1.56. You can drink as many as you want. And it's good. Ish. And you can even fill up a flask. Wow. So we were going to try a new cafe today, but this is England today. So the new cafe involved a walk into the door, another posh part of Sheffield. So we we're going to do a little Sheffield walk and talk and rant. But instead, I've got a liquid dad while he's gone to the gym. And uh, yeah, it's coffee and breakfast time. Now, my plan tonight is to take you to a very quaint, beautiful English village which hasn't been destroyed by recent imports yet. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to film. And then the other interesting part of it is it's a very good friend of mine from my past. Like, so childhood, we grew up together, best friends, really good friend, loads of love there, like deep, deep love, like basically like a sister. But massive lip tard, but not like a reactionary one. I think it's gonna be fine, but it's gonna be interesting to see if I can do it, if I can, yeah, be around such plebery and, um, you know, just, just try and be in love. But I don't think, I don't think, you know, I'm gonna do my absolute best to not bring anything up. And I think she's thought that if I did bring anything up, I think she'd just go quiet. I don't, I think she'd just go, hmm. Um, unless I proper went for it, then she would say something. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, I'll let you know how it goes and hopefully we'll get a bit of footage of an old English village. Today's Diners of Weatherspoons, it's a right mix. There's um, two guys here, there's one in Tesco tops. Uh, there's some students, there's some um, ethnically, there's some ethnic groups and um, some working class scum. Joke. Joke. I'm a fucking scumbag too. It's all fun. It's all just fun for YouTube. So the chap in brown at the bar, very a character man, very working class, but clearly a character, but just comes in and asking his mate, is it free food? Free food? Are they giving out free food? And he's like, no. <laughs> More like, no. And um, he's like, oh, I thought it was free food in here. Honestly, man, it is a great, great people watching spot. I love it. When does um, Keir Starling's smoking van outside pubs come in? Because these have all got no smoking signs on, but then they've all got ashtrays, so glad to see where the spoons are. Fucking that shit up. And again, like everything, it is not for your health and safety. It's to destroy pubs. They don't want people getting together and chatting. They want, they don't, they want you all isolated, they want you all divided. They definitely don't want you drinking alcohol together. They don't want loose lips and like, oh, what do you think about this? Mm, I think... I think it's all the bits of a lie. They don't want that. They do not want that. This smoking ban is another ploy to destroy the pubs along with the energy bills and everything else that they do, all the bloody taxes. They are wiping out the middle class, so you'll all need universal basic income, handouts from the governments, and then you'll do whatever they say. Oh, you need to take this one and that one and this one. Oh, oh, we're going to take your basic income away. Oh, you need to move to this 15-minute city. You can't even go to side anymore. Oh, well, then you're only going to get £500 a month instead of 1400 a month. Oh, OK, yes, sir, no, sir. Oh, bummy, kiss, Simon. Bummy, 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 bummy. How good is that mullet, man? I love it. Pints at 11 a.m. No doubt he's got his uh, tickets to Oasis' uh, satanic tour. Um, and he's trying to look the part. He looks very Oasis. I actually really like where he looks. I think it's funny. I just think anyone with character is looking great. 
especially like if you work in Tesco as well. I'm like, I love it because like, everyone else in there is just like you know, like me with a robotic haircut. And he's just there with his like. I don't know if you really got to see it. You know, I got to stand there and be like, can I feel me on money? I mean, maybe I could. Yeah, cowboy. I think that might have been more than 10 minutes. I think I should get a free refill. Yeah. free refill. <laughs> Man, the libbies are going to hate this one, aren't they? I mean, they hate everything I do, but I can feel them already kicking up. Oh, it's so judgmental, it's so judgmental. Say, the most judgmental people in the world. Cancel him, cancel him, destroy his life, destroy his life. Ooh, ooh, he's saying something I don't like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, to even be on here when you don't like someone, I mean, how can you not see, like, how you live in total hate and judgment? <laughs> but yeah, I am judgmental. I like judging people. It's good fun. But you know who I judge for most in this life? Myself. You know, I'm only doing to them what I do to myself. Uh, just like you are, you judgmental, projecting, horrible pleb. Enjoy! The difference is between me and you, we might both be judgmental. But you know, I will judge people on my own to my camera and then I'll go about my business. Because I have purpose and I have peace in my life. Whereas you will try and get involved in other people's business because you have nothing in your life other than hate, guilt and shame. And that's why you project it out onto the world and try and make the world like you are, a fucking spaz who's chopped their penis off. So yes, I will call the plebs, because he's fucking stupid. He's listening to the government, and he's listening to celebrities, and he's not listening to your own intuition. Therefore, he's a pleb. And people seem to not like that, because they say it's making me better than. I am better than you. If you are still fucking believing this shit you're told, then I'm a better person than you. I'm a more intelligent person than you. I'm a braver person than you. I'm a more aware person than you. And there are hierarchies. Deal with it. And I'm here, and you're there. Fuck you. And guess what? There's people above me too. I'm able to see that. You know, I can see it all. You know, I don't just have this stupid tunnel vision that's been conditioned to me because I went to fucking university and got brainwashed. Like, I can see it all and I will speak into it all because I'm capable of doing that. And just because you're not capable of that, you want to fucking shut me down and shut people like me down who actually, like, are able to think and able to speak still. But all you want to do is bring everyone down to your crappy, crappy, plebby level. Ain't happening, bro. Ain't happening. So what is it that stops these people from accepting the blindingly obvious that's right in front of them? You know, the fact that we're controlled by an elite that are trying to enslave us all and we should be uniting rather than dividing. I know that my, the way I'm doing this video, you know, only adds some more division and I get that, you know, and I'm not, I'm not there, you know, I've not mastered it. Um, but you know, it just amazes me that they can't accept the blindingly obvious. And I get they're totally indoctrinated, I get most of them have been to uni and have just been totally warped. But, and, and to accept the truth is to let go of everything, any status that they've got, anything that they've ever held any value over. I get it's hard, but I think the main one is the fact they can't accept that they fell for the biggest, <laughs> the biggest trick ever played on humanity. And that, and it was so obvious, and people like me were like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And we're like, I'm gonna queue up and get meh, 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 meh. And now there's footballers dropping, people on TV dropping. The statistics are horrendous, horrendous. Have you seen the myocarditis rates between young men between 14 and 25? Like it went from basically zero to thousands since. Yeah, I mean, it's just a coincidence, isn't it? I, mean, I don't know what caused it, but it seems to have happened since 2021. I mean, it's not like there was anything experimental that happened, anything that was mandated on the masses, anything that people like me warned you against. No, no I can't think what it is. Everything's fine. I'm just a mad conspiracy theorist. Ignore me. But you can't do that, can you? Instead, you watch all of my videos because you're absolutely obsessed. Are you sure you don't want to oh, 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 on my big 8 inch? I think that might be what it is. There's a very fine line between love and hate. And I think you're watching this weekend. Oh my god, I wish I could be that guy's friend. I mean, obviously, this is in your subconscious. I wish I could be that guy's friend, or I wish I could suck that guy's dick, or I wish I could speak like him, or I wish I was as cool as him. But because you know you're nowhere near it, and if you were to get in touch with me, I would give you a big uh -uh. It turns to hate. Very fine line between love and hate. So instead of ignoring what these silly lefties do, is they try and cancel, which just shows how wrong they are. Like, if I was wrong, you wouldn't need to cancel me, you know? 
I would fall on my own sword, but truth will always win, right? So why doesn't your truth ever win? Why does your truth need to be um, need to be protected with cancel culture? Why do you need to shut everyone down that speaks against you? But we don't. My side doesn't. My side can just speak and let... And, and actually what we do is we share. When you speak, we share it. Libs of TikTok being a prime example. We share it because it's just like, look at them. Look at them. But when we speak, you have to go, no, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them. Because what we say is true. Think about it. Bone science! Go bone and tough! Thorbein! Misogynist! I mean, when you have to resort to just name calling rather than speaking your truth, that should also tell you something. Turns out Dad was going to a gym, which is just around the corner from the amazing weather's place. So as long as I eat and sup in 40 minutes and fill my flask, um, no more walking. This guy behind me is nickname. Mine and my dad's nickname from his Sheffield pub man. Because you see him in every single pub whenever you go in it. Oh, this is peaceful. So Dad's, I've gone to a gym, got a lift back with Dad. He's gone for a sandwich and he's decided that he needs to lock me in the car and now I'm having to live with that. Oh, I think that should solve it. So yeah, this seems to unlock itself every now and again. So hopefully now I've opened the door. But yeah, super peaceful. Cheers, Dad. And why does he think he needs to lock me in the fucking car? 38. So I actually filmed that about two weeks ago. And for some reason, I, I thought it was terrible. Like I thought, oh my God, I can't post that. I've just had to sit down on my car, it's starting to look bad and it's super funny, so um, if you're triggered by it, fuck you, and if you're conscious and you found that funny and you can see that it's important for us to speak these truths, then please do support me with a like, a subscribe, a share, and if you really want to support me, you can check out the Patreon. Alright loves, I'll see you later.